when you're pursuing something, especially a business or maybe a passion of yours, mm, mm. at what point do you throw in the towel? Look, I, I, I think it, quit ought to be a word you ought to throw out of your vocabulary. However, however, I think if something's not working and you, you work it, work it, you've got to go, hey, this is not working. Like, you don't want to keep someone seed where there's no harvest, whether that's in a relationship. Um, you know, I, 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 I was saying to my wife the other day, I'm not looking to add on more friends. I'm looking to drop some off, especially the ones that are takers, not bringers, you know. So when do you quit? Well, one, I would say when there is no harvest. However, you've got to ask yourself, is it a time for me to drill down more or or, or is it time for me to group? I'll, gi- I'll give you an illustration. Many, many years ago, I, I ran Youth Alive. It was the you know, biggest youth movement in the country. And at the end of the year, we went from having 5,000 kids to 6,000 kids down to about two and a half. And everyone's going, oh, it's the HSC. It's exam time. It's holiday time. And, and I just knew, no, it's none of that. It was that the vision for that particular event wasn't exciting. And at that time, we were going for the 2000 Olympics. And I remember walking down the streets of Sydney and seeing all these flags, and we hadn't won the Olympics yet. And I went, that's it. I'm going to do an event called Countdown 2000. Now, we hadn't won the Olympics yet, the, the, you know, the, the, the bid. Yeah, right. And, I, and I, I went to my team and I said, we're going to do this thing, Countdown 2000. And sure enough... I went to every single uh, youth group of different churches from everything from Catholic Church, Seven Day Adventist. I mean, we're all in. I said, we're going to get the Olympics. Everyone thought I was crazy, but I just knew that I knew that I knew. And bang, guess what? 15,000 kids later turned up at this event. I, I mean, I was watching the footage of it the other day and I got very emotional. I had to um, reinvent that good idea. So, so I didn't quit, I had to reinvent. Second thing I think is, when do I quit? Again, if you are not getting a fresh idea, if it's exhausting you, if it's causing toxicity in you, if it's giving you more pain than pleasure, you need to let it go. And maybe something can get resurrected again. Just recently, I had something, uh, one of our programs that I'd lost my joy over and I lost my mojo over. And... I knew that unless I got the joy, I got the mojo, it's no point trying to shovel dung uphill. You know, it was yeah. too hard. So I reinvented it and got the mojo back. Now we're going to try and test it and see how it goes. When should I quit? I'm, I'm keeping asking this question. When should I quit? Well, I don't think you quit because you're discouraged. And I don't think you quit because you should fail. Because you fail. Interesting story of Thomas Edison. All of his experiments and everything he did, and all of a sudden, one of them went terribly wrong, and boom, this whole building that he had got set on fire. And he went up to his son, he says, son, go and get your mother, tell her to hurry. Well, the son thought he should be crying, he should be devastated. He goes, dad, what do you, you should be upset. He goes, go and get your mother, she's going to miss out on the biggest bonfire that she's ever seen. And when at the end of that, that period, when he walked among the ashes, he said, here lies all the dead ideas that I had. So I I, I don't think you should quit because of discouragement. I certainly don't think you should quit because of other people's opinions. But if I could put a spiritual element to it, if that's okay, you've got to realise when something has the father's sentence of death on it. Jesus one day looked at a tree that wasn't bearing free tree and he said, cut it down and the gardener came back and said look let me tend it let me prune it let me dung it let me let me do what I can do and then if it isn't producing fruit get rid of it and that's how I think we should approach it do the best you can do but if if it's got a father's sentence of death in it you're going to be just fighting against destiny <laughs>